Welcome to Forced Auto Stop. This is my uh, 2000 Honda Insight, and I uh, today I'm going to short a sh shoot a short video talking to you about a couple modifications I just did, uh, or rather upgrades. Uh, the first is my OBD2 CNC, which is this uh, small module that connects to uh, the OBD2 port that gives different engine parameters. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, and the other thing I want to talk about is my forced auto stop mod, which I uh, just had installed on Sunday. Uh, so let me talk about each of these. This you can get from a user named, uh, well, I don't know if you can get them anymore because these are over a decade old, I think. Um, but Peter Perkins is a man who, uh, over uh, on the other side of the ocean, who developed these, uh, pioneered these for the first generation Honda Insight, probably in other cars too. Um, I got this for $150 used. And uh, I don't know what they <clears throat> cost back in the day, but InsightCentral.net, if you look for Peter Perkins, you'll find him and uh, you can find more information about this. The other modification is the Elegant Forced Auto Stop, EFAS is the acronym. Uh, user uh, Natalia on uh, InsightCentral.net also will sell you one of these for $75. It's a printed circuit board that uh, is soldered into the uh, module, uh, the, one of the control modules, which is behind the, uh, the passenger seat well area. And uh, you'll get a button, which I installed here. You can install that wherever you want, which allows forced auto stop. So let me demonstrate real quickly uh, what this does. As you notice, I'm in auto stop right now. Uh, auto stop is a feature that Honda put into this car uh, when they built it to basically turn off the gas engine. I think it's anytime under 19 miles per uh, hour when you have the clutch in and you're in neutral and you apply the brake. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's a combination of those things and uh, it has a system where it figures out when it thinks you're stopping for a while It works, you know, really really well and uh, And then when you put it the car back into gear the engine turns back on so forced auto stop allows you to basically turn that off, engine off anytime the gas engine while still having power uh, to the car provided by the nickel metal hydride battery and Which is wonderful because if you're coasting on a long hill, which I'm about to demonstrate you can just turn the engine off, you can still steer, you can still have radio, everything works just fine, but you're not using any gas, zero. So, I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna put it into gear, you'll notice when I do that the uh, auto stop button light goes away and the car is now on. <clears throat> and I will demonstrate how this works. Just a moment. This is a 2000 Honda Insight 5 speed. So I'm in first gear, second gear. I'm in third gear, I'm heading toward a hill. Speed limit's about 45. This actually is a long hill, it's about a mile downhill. I put the car in neutral and hit my auto stop button and as you can see here hopefully we are at auto stop zero rpm we are coasting at 45 everything's wonderful i could do this for the next three quarter miles or so mile if i wished uh here we go and again as you see everything's wonderful we're using no gas at all Still maintaining speed. There's a very slight slope that I'm on. Dropping speed a little bit, but I'm just about, this is almost level now, the road that I'm on. And then we are gaining speed now as we go downhill. I've been coasting for uh, nearly a minute now, and here comes a nice big hill I'm coasting. Now, just to show you how this works, I'm gonna put it into fourth gear would be appropriate. So we're auto stop, now watch this, fourth gear, and the engine kicks right back on and everything's like normal again, seamless, just like normal auto stop. Uh, this has been in use for a good six years by Natalia, I asked, uh, in one shape or another, one form or another, and uh, bulletproof, wonderful. So you gotta kinda figure out, you know, the big thing is really just, I mean, obviously installing it, but then figuring out where you want your button. Let me speak about this for a moment since we have lean burn. This uh, OBD2 CNC, as I said, is a wonderful device that uh, measures 
uh, various parameters in the engine. There's a button here where you can do things. You can work with the state of charge, which isn't really something I need because I have a new battery. Um, but uh, the main thing I really wanted this for, well, well number one, it's just awesome. Uh, and number two, <laughs> number two, I really wanted these two lights. So beyond all the features, which I'm going to read the instruction manual and figure out, it has a uh, green light and a red light, and those are uh, really brilliant. Peter did a great job, uh, you know, figuring out what are some of the most important parameters uh, that we would want to see uh, on a Honda Insight. And uh, so that green light is a uh, light that signals lean burn. And when you are in lean burn, the lean burn technology, again, is one of the technologies that Honda developed that gives this car such great gas mileage. And so when you are in lean burn, it is a, uh, I won't go into what that is, and honestly, I don't understand it all, but that's when you're getting a maximum fuel uh, economy and that can happen in my car I've experienced it in third fourth and fifth gear and using various uh, measurements from engine parameters again uh, Peter engineered this to where when the green light comes on that tells you you are in lean burn um, lean burn mode so it's kind of cool like if you're you know into the fuel economy thing and you like seeing that light come on so I'm in third gear here I'm gonna get up to speed a little bit and then I'm in fourth gear and I'm just coasting along and you'll watch the light. I'm still kind of going up a little hill a little bit, um, but you'll see the green light will come on in just a moment and show that we're in lean burn mode. There it goes. So I'm in lean burn in fourth gear. I can usually get in lean burn in third gear as well. <clears throat> I believe it was showing that earlier. And then the other uh, light, the red light, is a really great feature. And so this has not happened to me, but it, it is something that's happened to other folks. And so the car, uh, the temperature sensor, which we have right here, uh, apparently, and I've not experienced this myself, I've only owned these cars for, I don't know, almost a year now. Um, but apparently the, the threshold between temperature okay and engine overheating is a very, very, very small window. Uh, and so because of that, sometimes these cars overheat for various reasons. And uh, before you even know it's overheating, it's caused damage to the engine. So what is on is done, and as again, as you see here, I'm in third gear, I'm in lean burn. We have the uh, green light on. Uh, so what this red light does is it tells you if the engine's overheating, it checks the engine te the uh, temperatures necessary to uh, warn you. And, uh, you know, coolant temperature, oil temp, I'm not sure which ones he used to achieve that, 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 uh, that uh, light, that LED coming on. But in any case, if, if uh, the uh, unit detects that your temperatures are out of the norm, it will light up this red light before your engine uh, even catches it and before any possible damage happens to the car. And uh, that is the CNC OBD2, you know, that's your OBD2 port, and then CNC uh, computer. And we are in auto stop once again. And I have this just wired in. I just made myself a little mount. It's actually quite nice. And I ran the cord behind to the OBD2 uh, right over here. And uh, I like it. It's nice and slick. I ran some wire loom to kind of hide it. And um, it's quite nice. So there's my eFast button. And there is my OBD2. Those are my two mods. Uh, really loving this car still. I'm getting uh, nice. I, I reset the LMPG, which is sort of a cardinal sin in the Insight world. But I uh, once I got the car and got everything sorted out in terms of the EGR plate cleaned and the... Uh, uh, um, you know, spark plugs, the correct spark plugs and the tires and just did all the things to make it as fresh and new as possible and then I reset uh, it and so I've been getting over about 3,000 miles since then. I've, my average is 64.6 .6, which is pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, uh, there we are, Honda Insight. If you uh, enjoyed, uh, oh let me say one other thing about this button. Um, I really uh, thought about placement with this and uh, some folks actually tape this to the stick shift. I didn't want to do that. It just felt a little archaic to me. It is easier because when you shift, you've got the button right there and you can auto stop. But to me, it felt quite easy just to shift into neutral and then just slip down right here. And I've got it right here where I don't even have to look. I can just shift into neutral and then just drop my finger right here and hit the button and it works quite nicely. Uh, so that's up to you wherever you mount it. You do want to mount it somewhere near the shifter though. It's time to go eat my Burger King.